Hello. This is the Cambridge English Flyers Listening Test. One. Listen and look. There is one example. Do you know some of these people at the beach? Yes, I do. Can you see the man under the umbrella? Do you mean the one who's holding the magazine? Yes, him. That's my cousin David. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Do you know the girls who were playing volleyball? I know one of them. The girl in the pink skirt. What's her name? Emma. Her brother's a friend of mine. We go skateboarding together sometimes. That man doesn't look very happy. Oh, you mean William? Well, he was asleep, but he woke up when the volleyball hit him on the head. What's he saying? Please be more careful next time. I think. Can you see that boy? The one who's falling into the water? No. The other one who's just pushed him, the boy in the blue shorts. That's my cousin Oliver. Well, he isn't very kind. Oh, it's okay. They're only playing. And look, Daisy's here too. She's trying to make those flies go away. I think they like ice cream. I didn't mean the girl in the swimsuit. I meant the one who's holding the net. Oh, her! Right, I see. I think she's going to go fishing. And what's that boy's name? Which boy? The boy with the shell. Is he collecting them? Perhaps. He's got a big smile on his face. He's called Jack. Right. Let's go and talk to him. Okay. Now listen to part one again. Do you know the girls who were playing volleyball? I know one of them. The girl in the pink skirt. What's her name? Emma. Her brother's a friend of mine. We go skateboarding together sometimes. That man doesn't look very happy. Oh, you mean William? Well, he was asleep, but he woke up when the volleyball hit him on the head. What's he saying? Please be more careful next time. I think. Can you see that boy? The one who's falling into the water? No, the other one who's just pushed him. The boy in the blue shorts. That's my cousin Oliver. Well, he isn't very kind. Oh, it's okay. They're only playing. And look, Daisy's here too. She's trying to make those flies go away. I think. They like ice cream. I didn't mean the girl in the swimsuit. I meant the one who's holding the net. Oh, her! Right, I see. I think she's going to go fishing.
And what's that boy's name? Which boy? The boy with the shell. Is he collecting them? Perhaps. He's got a big smile on his face. He's called Jack. Right. Let's go and talk to him. OK. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Dad, the man from the new homes office phoned today. He wanted to speak to you. Oh, yes. Was it about a house which someone wants to sell? Yes, that's right. And it sounds really cool. Well, we might buy it. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Where is the house? I mean, what's the address? It's number 12, Prince's Street. How do you spell the name of the street? I want to write it down. It's P-R-I-N-C-E-S. I don't know that street. Is it near the train station? That's important for me. No, it isn't. It's near the library. It's a nice, quiet street, he said. My friend Jane lives near there and she likes it very much. How many bedrooms has it got? It's got three. And listen to this. There are two bathrooms, a big one upstairs and a smaller one downstairs. Well, that's good for us. Is there a garden? Yes, there is. And... Is there a swimming pool in the garden? No, Dad. There's a swing in it. Hmm. It sounds nice. How much is it? The man didn't tell me. But my friend Jane says... He didn't tell you? But that's the most important thing. Well, is it expensive? Sorry, Dad. I don't know. But there's something else. Something great. What? The house has got a music room. Has it? Well, that's something different. Where is it? It's in the basement. I could play my pop music and drums really loudly. Yes, you could. Hmm. Well, let's go and look at this house, shall we? Now listen to part two again. Where is the house? I mean, what's the address? It's number 12, Prince's Street. How do you spell the name of the street? I want to write it down. It's P-R-I-N-C-E-S. I don't know that street. Is it near the train station? That's important for me. No, it isn't. It's near the library. It's a nice, quiet street, he said. My friend Jane lives near there and she likes it very much. How many bedrooms has it got? It's got three. And listen to this. There are two bathrooms, a big one upstairs and a smaller one downstairs. Well, that's good for us. Is there a garden? Yes, there is. And... Is there a swimming pool in the garden? No, Dad. There's a swing in it. Hmm. It sounds nice. How much is it? The man didn't tell me. But my friend Jane says... He didn't tell you? But that's the most important thing. Well, is it expensive? Sorry, Dad. I don't know. But there's something else. Something great. What? The house has got a music room. Has it? Well, that's something different. Where is it? It's in the basement. I could play my pop music and drums really loudly. Yes, you could.
Hmm. Well, let's go and look at this house, shall we? That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Peter teaches an art class for grown-ups. They have had a competition, and Peter is talking about the paintings. Which picture did each person paint? Can you tell me something about the art competition, Peter? Yes, of course. There were 25 paintings when we started, and I've chosen six. They're all excellent, so it's very difficult to choose just one. What about this picture? The table with the bowl of fruit in the middle of it? That's Mr. Green's. I could eat that large piece of cheese. It looks so good. The light in the painting is excellent, too, isn't it? Yes. Can you see the letter B? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. I like this picture of the old castle. Whose is this? Uh, let me see. That's one of Mrs. Cook's. She started painting it in the morning, but then it began to rain. So she had to finish it later. That's right, in her hotel room. Tell me about this picture, here. The fields look lovely in the summer sun, don't they? Yes, it looks like a brilliant place for a picnic. No houses or streets? I think that's one of the best pictures by Mrs. West that I've ever seen. And what do you think of this one? What's it called? A Day at the Races. The artist, Miss Richards, has a lot of dogs at home, which she enjoys painting. But this is the first time she's tried painting horses. Well, I think it's really good. So do I. This one is a favorite. I can understand that. But snow isn't easy to paint. Mountains are really difficult, too. Yes, but Mr. Bridges... Didn't have to worry about that here. No. And the kids are having lots of fun. Look. Yes. Oh, I'm very interested in this one. Yes, me too. Mrs. Hill's very good at painting water. Who's the person in the lake? Her husband. It looks wonderful there. Thanks for showing me all the paintings. Well done to everyone. Now listen to part three again. I like this picture of the old castle. Whose is this? Uh, let me see. That's one of Mrs. Cook's. She started painting it in the morning, but then it began to rain. So she had to finish it later. That's right, in her hotel room. Tell me about this picture, here. The fields look lovely in the summer sun, don't they? Yes, it looks like a brilliant place for a picnic. No houses or streets? I think that's one of the best pictures by Mrs. West that I've ever seen. And what do you think of this one? What's it called? A Day at the Races. The artist, Miss Richards, 
has a lot of dogs at home, which she enjoys painting. But this is the first time she's tried painting horses. Well, I think it's really good. So do I. This one is a favorite. I can understand that. But snow isn't easy to paint. Mountains are really difficult, too. Yes, but Mr. Bridges didn't have to worry about that here. No, and the kids are having lots of fun. Look! Yes. <gasps> oh, I'm very interested in this one. Yes, me too. Mrs. Hill's very good at painting water. Who's the person in the lake? Her husband. It looks wonderful there. Thanks for showing me all the paintings. Well done to everyone. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen. And look, there is one example. What's Frank doing? Frank, what are you doing? Are you playing video games again? No, Mum. I'm tidying the living room. Oh, are you? Well, that's great. But please come upstairs and help me. Why? I'm putting your clothes in the suitcase. Have you forgotten? We're going to go on holiday today. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which shirt does Frank want to take on holiday? Which shirt do you want to take on holiday? Well, I don't want that striped one. It's too small now. Hmm, you're right. What about this one with the butterflies on it? No thanks. I hate that shirt. I want to take that black one. For a holiday in the sun? Oh, Frank. Two. Where are the tickets? Have you seen the plane tickets, Frank? I can't find them. I saw them this morning. They were on the shelf in your room, I think. Well, they're not there now. Have you looked in your handbag? Yes, of course I have. Oh, here they are. On the desk next to this book. Three. What time do they have to arrive at the airport? What time is it now? It's quarter past ten. We have to meet Dad at the airport at one thirty, no later. Are we going to take a taxi there? Yes. It will arrive here at twelve o'clock. We must be ready then. Four. Who's going to look after their pets? Mrs. Hill will be here soon. We have to talk about the pets. She is going to look after them. No, her son Michael is going to do it. Why can't Grandpa do it? Oh, Frank, he can't come here every day. It's too far. Five. Where are they going to have lunch? Are we going to have lunch here, Mum? No, it's too early. We can have it on the plane. Can't we buy something at the airport? We'll be very hungry. We won't have time, Frank. You'll be okay. You had a lot to eat this morning.
Now listen to part four again. One. Which shirt does Frank want to take on holiday? Which shirt do you want to take on holiday? Well, I don't want that striped one. It's too small now. Hmm, you're right. What about this one with the butterflies on it? No thanks. I hate that shirt. I want to take that black one. For a holiday in the sun? Oh, Frank. Two. Where are the tickets? Have you seen the plane tickets, Frank? I can't find them. I saw them this morning. They were on the shelf in your room, I think. Well, they're not there now. Have you looked in your handbag? Yes, of course I have. Oh, here they are on the desk next to this book. Three. What time do they have to arrive at the airport? What time is it now? It's quarter past ten. We have to meet Dad at the airport at one thirty. No later. Are we going to take a taxi there? Yes, it will arrive here at twelve o'clock. We must be ready then. Four. Who's going to look after their pets? Mrs. Hill will be here soon. We have to talk about the pets. She is going to look after them. No, her son Michael is going to do it. Why can't Grandpa do it? Oh, Frank, he can't come here every day. It's too far. Five. Where are they going to have lunch? Are we going to have lunch here, Mum? No, it's too early. We can have it on the plane. Can't we buy something at the airport? We'll be very hungry. We won't have time, Frank. You'll be okay. You had a lot to eat this morning. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Can I color this picture, please? Yes, of course, Betty. Can you see the cloud? The one that's in front of the sun. That's right. Color that yellow. Okay. Can you see the yellow cloud? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. The man's looking at the penguins. I think. They're so funny. Can I color one of those next? Yes. Color the one that's standing on the top of the rock. Use gray for that. All right, there. I think it's waving with its wings. Two. I think the octopus looks scary. Do you? Perhaps the larger one does. Well, let's color the smaller one. Cool. Green? No. Let's make it pink this time. All right. I've got that color here. Brilliant. Three. How about some writing now? Look at the boat. 
Okay. One word is missing there, isn't it? Yes. Above the words of the sea, there's a space. In that space, write the word queen. Can you do that? Sure. That's a good name for a boat. Four. Can I write something else too? Yes. What would you like to write? Well, I'd like to write something on the treasure box in that square. Gold? Yes. I was thinking the same as you. Do you think they'll find it? I don't know. Five. And now for some more coloring. Can I color the spotted fish? The little one. It looks really sweet. I agree. But color the striped one for me, please, instead. No problem. Can I use purple? Yes. Good idea. Thank you. Fantastic. Now listen to part five again. One. The man's looking at the penguins, I think. They're so funny. Can I color one of those next? Yes. Color the one that's standing on the top of the rock. Use gray for that. All right. There. I think it's waving with its wings. Two. I think the octopus looks scary. Do you? Perhaps the larger one does. Well, let's color the smaller one. Cool. Green? No. Let's make it pink this time. All right. I've got that color here. Brilliant. Three. How about some writing now? Look at the boat. Okay. One word is missing there, isn't it? Yes. Above the words of the sea, there's a space. In that space, write the word queen. Can you do that? Sure. That's a good name for a boat. Four. Can I write something else, too? Yes. What would you like to write? Well, I'd like to write something on the treasure box in that square. Gold? Yes. I was thinking the same as you. Do you think they'll find it? I don't know. Five. And now for some more coloring. Can I color the spotted fish? The little one. It looks really sweet. I agree. But color the striped one for me, please, instead. No problem. Can I use purple? Yes. Good idea. Thank you. Fantastic. That is the end of the Flyers Listening Test.